SPSC online classes and I am your math teacher and students now we are going to start new semester and the first topic that is uh, in new semester is logarithm chapter number three so we will start from the chapter number three okay in this chapter beta we will discuss about the scientific notation logarithm common and natural logarithm laws of logarithm application of logarithm so we will discuss these five points in this chapter but today we are going to discuss about the scientific notation it's mean today i will tell you about the scientific notation that what is the mean of scientific notation notation Scientific notation is a procedure in which a very large number or a very small number can be write into the easiest form. Let's suppose you have a number that as we know that the distance from the earth to the sun is 150, and then 30 means 150000000 kilometer approximately. And a hydrogen item weight is 0 0.000, 0 0.000000000000. It means we will write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 0 0.230 and then 17. Grams. So, beta for us to write a very large number and a very small number. Scientists have developed a very easiest method or easy procedure that is called scientific notation. It's mean, it's mean we can write a very large number or a very small number in a very easiest form through scientific notation. Got it, beta? Okay, now how we can write a large number into the scientific notation or a large number into the easiest form by a scientific notation. So look at here. Chapter number and the name of this chapter is logarithm and we are discussing about the scientific notation first. Okay, let's suppose you have a number is 5700. You have an ordinary number. This form is called a ordinary form or ordinary number. Ordinary number. Fine. Okay, now how we can write this number into the scientific notation? So, better keep in mind that we will write point after the one digit just. So, five point. And then write down seven non-zero digit, and then when other numbers can be write into the power form. So it can be write multiply. We will write multiply and then ten power. Count the digits after the point. We have write point here. So after the point, how many digits are left? One, two, three. It means three. So we will write three. So a whole number 5700 can be write 5.7 multiply 10 power 3. Got it? Okay. No, another number is 96 and then 60. 3 and then 30 more. So this is our ordinary number. So how we can write into the scientific notation? So beta e. Very easy. As we know that we will write point after one digit. So 9 
point then non zero digit write on the non zero digit and then multiply 10 power 0 all the zeros and you will count the number of digits after the points so as we have write z point here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it's mean we will write 7 power so 96 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 9 this whole number can be write into the scientific notation as 9.6 multiply 10 power 7 got it beta okay no let's suppose you have just like this type of number <clears throat> Zero point zero 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 three six seven eight zero 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 and then three nine five. Okay, now how we can write this is a ordinary number, or you can say that this is so small number. And zero point zero 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 three nine five. It's a very small number. So it is very difficult as for us to learn these type of the numbers. So we can write this complete number into the scientific notation form. So how we can write these type of the numbers into the scientific notation? As we know that we will write the point after just one digit. So the non-zero digits are 395. It means 395. So we will write 3.95. Nine five, yes. Then multiply ten power. Now count the digit as we have right point here. So point as the point will move from left to right. So how many digits uh, the point will move? How many steps to the right side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fine. So we will write nine, but the sign will minus. Why? Two digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it's mean when the point will move from left to right we will write power into the negative form and when point will move right to left we will write power into the positive form got it beta okay now other number is 0 0.0074 so how we can write this number into the scientific notation? So which is simply we will write, we will see the non-zero digits. The non-zero digits are 74 number. So we will write 7.4 and then multiply 10 power. The point will move from left to right. So 1, 2, 3, 3 digits. So we will write 3 but the sign will minus as we know that. When the point will move from left to right, we will write power into the negative form. And when the point will move left to right to left, sorry, then power will be positive. Got it beta? Okay. Now, come on the second situation that if you have a number into the scientific notation form, then how we can convert, how we can write into the ordinary notation. Fine? Okay. Now let's suppose you have a number is 6 multiply 10 power minus 4. This form is called a scientific notation as we know. Fine? Scientific notation form. notation so how we can write into the ordinary notation this number so what we will do here we will write non digit non zero digit is 6 so we will write 6 first then look at the power power is minus 4 it's negative power so we will write 3 0 more here it's mean Point will write 
after the four digits or before the four digits so one two three four the point will write here so 0 0.006 is your final answer got it okay the other number is let's suppose 7.865 multiply 10 power 8 now how we can write into the cent ordinary notation 7.865 so we, the power is positive it means the point will shift to the right side 7. Eight. So how we can write? So seven, eight, six, five, one, two, three digits, and then we will write five more zeros. This is your final answer. Got it, beta?